Pedius, when you think this is more than a purple pen and you think it's a purple something else, a purple pickle eater. Yes, pur purple pickles. And you so, get to eat the purple pickle. And then you gather up the angry mob and they beat the crap out of the ogres in your town. They get to, they get to put an end to the Shrek meme. <laughs> Those are hidden Shreks. So, Oculus. Is it Oculus? Oculus. Oculus. Oculus uh, Omega. This really is like an cute, as we said, you said. It's an cute. It's a less cute one. It's more of like Monty Python with like Monty Python is Tongue in cheek. Yeah, it's really tongue in cheek. I found it really fun. I didn't find it hard. It's like if you if you don't if you're reckless with how you're like aiming the mob, yeah, you're gonna die pretty fast, I find. Yeah, you but need to be more strategic. Hard. Yeah, like there's a lot more strategic a strategy involved. Um, for the longest time, I thought this was an RPG, and then I thought so too. Yeah, that's the funny part. I'm like, okay, I'm not sure if I should choose this game because it's a friggin' RPG. And then now, when now that we've played it, it's like, oh, this is pretty much yeah. You know, you, you gotta <laughs> not you gotta not assume that every game that's that looks. That's the problem. You uh, see photos of the games, and like until you play them, you don't really know what the game's feeling yeah. is like. Like you thought of a mobile game with an RPG. Which game was Dragon that? Cliff. Oh, yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, you see glimpses of a game, and until you play the game, you don't really have an idea. Like, is this game like this, or what? Like this. Like, yeah. even after, like, you still have no idea sometimes. Even after, it's like, this is, like, five different genres. At once. Um, I, I really like this game. I don't remember the price. Maybe, uh, but if... if it's strangely addictive. I oh, yeah. Know, just to, like, just to have, like, a mob and it's like, go, oh, go take this out. It sort of feels like, to me, like, sort of like a casual strategy game because there's not really any numbers or you don't really have to, like, you can go to the store and uh, buy characters, but you don't really need to dwell into, like, oh, I need ten of these guys or I need to build more this to build up my army. Yeah, and then and there's a cap on the army too, which sort of makes it not get out of control, kind of like Warcraft Three, I guess, in that sense. Like things don't get so out of control. Like I can't have a hundred peons or whatever. You might actually one day in yeah. the game. But I thought this game was a lot of fun. Uh, sound effects were decent. Uh, the main, I think that's also the main criticism. I find like if you're really not managing your your characters well. You'll end up like me, where I had one character left trying to kill like a little bit of the wizard, but the wizard kept disappearing. So it's like, oh, sh did I kill him? And at first I wasn't sure. And then he just reappeared. Then he reappeared across the street, on the the unpaved, uh, you know, uh, s store area. Also, also, the level seems to randomly generate because yeah, it feels like a your version fight. had like you fighting the wizard. Me, I had to fight ten, like thirty four wizards. Thirty-four wizards. Yeah, thirty about thirty-four wizards. More than that because I remember killing some of them, and I had to move the crowd. Through. Oh yeah, you had like the the wizards like from Loom. Yeah. The video game Loom. So I'm just looking up the price of the game because, to me, this game was made by Devolver Digital, which is a really good company. Most of the games they make are kind of self-aware, if I recall correctly. Yeah, right now it's three fifty on sale. Uh, but that's because of the... Normally uh, it's $13. I, I feel like... Uh, yeah, I really feel like this game... Uh, 350 is a really good deal. I feel like... Maybe not 13 I'm thinking 5 to 10 are classic numbers. I, I found it enjoyable, though. Um, it's really hard to find a game that you can just jump in and keep playing. And the fact it changes itself up, too. And uh, you don't really get many games from this time period that aren't like Assassin's Creed and like semi-serious. Yeah, so um, it's fun to have a game that's... Ba it basically has an homage to Monty Python where everyone just gets squished by a foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is definitely one of those games that you, you can't be like offended easily. Uh, and if you are, then you probably won't be playing it for very long. Yeah, so. this game is a pretty good addictive game. I recommend it mm -hmm. 9 out of 10. Yeah, this is like the first Riot game beyond PS2 and a Narcute. So if you want like it even... Narcute I felt was harder. This is just more like, you know, don't 
don't become so lazy with the troops you have. You gotta strategize. Yeah. In a way, it's kind of like Pikmin. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like a less nasally packed Pikmin, so... Yeah, I'd say check it out. I would... We didn't give a score, did we, yet? Uh, I gave. Oh, nine. I think, yeah, I wouldn't give it a nine. I'd say like a seven or eight. I don't think it's like a perfect game, but I think it's definitely for the price. Uh, like sale price. Five and it definitely has that Devolver digital uh, quality to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely polished. Uh, you know, I think you could eventually get bored of it, but I think for like, you know, just as a game to play for a few days or a week or so, yeah, it's definitely worth it. So. Yep. Alrighty. Opa! Don't get too apedious on me. A ate a piss. <laughs> ate a piss? Why did you eat a piss? Because I'm gonna take an eight of piss. Da dum dum.